All right, so we're talking about the binomial theorem. And basically, when you're writing out the binomial expression, a plus b to the n power, right? Uh, when n is a positive integer, the pattern is known as Pascal's triangle, okay? It appears as well as other interesting facts um, to be discovered. In order to expand the binomial expression, we need to know how to find the binomial coefficient, okay? And this can be done, like, you know how when you have a plus b squared, you can just simply do FOIL, right? Yes. But what if it's a plus b to the sixth power? Do you want to have to do that much multiplication? No. No. So someone really smart found a rule and a pattern for us to follow. So that, that'll that reduce the amount of work we'd have to do, right? AKA Pascal's triangle is what was created. So here you have the expression um, n above r. It's called the binomial coefficient, okay? And n over r, n above r is read as, um, I just forgot, I said explanation. That's not called an X, factorial. n factorial, it's like cited n, right? n factorial divided by r factorial over n minus r factorial. What does factorial mean? Anyone know? Factor or something. There's factors. There's some factors involved. There's factors involved. Factors are things that are being multiplied, right? A factorial means that you're going to multiply that number by all the numbers that are less than, all the integers that are less than it, positive integers. So for example, if I had five factorial, that equals five times four times three times two times one. Okay. That's what a factorial is. Does that make sense? Yes. So we're going to use the binomial um, coefficient. And what this is going to tell us, when you have a plus b to the n, um, you will be able to determine what the coefficient will be for that value. Okay. Yes. yes. Let's see how it goes. So we're going to start with 6, 2. So we're going to use the formula. So again, I'm going to write the formula at the bottom. So the formula we have is n over, not, not over, above. Over means you're dividing. Above just means n r, n above r equals n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial, okay? And I want you to try it out first, okay? So noting here that your n equals six and your r equals two. So using that and what we just learned what a factorial is, I want you to try and plug it in and see what you do. The what? Yeah. Slight ass and jump. Yeah. I just told you it's called the factorial. I, I just factorial means that you're gonna multiply the number by all the factors integers that are lower than it. If you need to. I mean, like, it just means after. Right now you can, but we're going to. You'll see that you don't need it. Yeah, I mean, I figured we'd do that. So I want you to try it before we go through it. Um, Let's see how you process it. Does every number have a power of one? Oh, when you say that in it. What do you mean? Semi-semi. 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 Semi
not two division row x anyone wants to share what they think the answer is we got a 48 what do you get we got a 60 no i mean i didn't mean it i didn't need a gun Wait, what am I supposed to do? Right. I'm not going to do that. I'm 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 going to times six minus two factorial. Are you with me? So six factorial means that I have six times five times four times three times two times one. Two factorial means I have two times one. What is six minus two? Four. four. So then this is four factorial. Yeah. Okay. What happens when you have factors in the numerator and in the denominator? They eliminate, they cancel each other out. So if I have factors in the numerator and in the denominator, they're going to cancel each other out. Goes away, goes away, goes away, goes away. And what am I left with? 15. Six times five is 30. Two times one is two. And we're left with? They cancel out. Because it's dividing and multiplying. I love that project. It'll be more work. You can. Yeah, but seven twenty divided by It's seven twenty divided. It's seven twenty divided. Which is still fifteen. All right. Are you ready to try B now? So now with that in mind, do B. Okay. Only one, that'd be twice in the Not twice in You are the best. You can do anything. You can be anything you want to be. You are a rainbow. From a movie, it's from the nineties. So this movie called "I'll Do Anything." All right. 
here we go. So for this one, our N is nine, R is four. Yes. So we have nine factorial divided by four factorial times nine minus four factorial. Okay, yes. Are we good? All right, so I have nine times eight times seven. I can count. Yeah. <laughs> times five times four. Five. Guys, what is wrong? Oh my God. Five, five. I was getting there. I was getting there. I, that says seven times six. I know you see that little dot. Four, three, two, one, and then five, four, three, two, one. Agreed? No. Where, where do we disagree at? It's not what it said, and you know it. Well, yep. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it That's going to be bad. Okay, anyways, it cancels out, so it doesn't matter. How about that? Okay, now, also, what's four times two? Oh, you're so you're lying. Whoa. What? You're lying. Did that cancel out too? Did, he, did anyone else cancel that out? No. What about, does six divided by three do? What? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> You're magical. Man. That's, magic That's crazy. So I'm left with, which is nine times 14, which equals 126. But I'd have to think it's hard. It's okay, James. It's okay. What kind of math were you doing? That good math. Uh, good. <laughs> Is there an easier way to do this? Never mind. Never mind. Eliminate. There's not another easier way. Elimination. Oh. All right. Oh. Last one. Go. <laughs> Y'all better not get this one wrong. Is it, is it what I think it is? What do you think it is? No. I don't know. Oh, water is zero. That's crazy. The answer is zero. Wait. Is it running on the same line? Zero. Zero. I don't think that's what do you want? Well, that's for asymptotes right now. All right. The no going okay? All right. So let's talk about this one. So this runs a little different. So when you have zero factorial, Oh my god! What? Oh, it's like it's like when you have something like, to the power. The power of zero is one. I wanted to just let you process it. I didn't think. I thought like it was multiplied times zero, so that makes it all zero, zero factorial equals so, one. Okay, just like the same rule for our x to the zero equals what? One. Okay. So when all this is said and done, you were left with three factorial over three factorial times zero factorial, right? Which comes out to be one. Anything divided by itself is one. And then this is just one over one, which equals one, okay? I had to let you see and think and see where your brain was gonna go. Okay, so it's not zero? It's not, because zero factorial equals... What is zero factorial equal? We just learned? One. one. What is anything to the zero power equal? One. Ask for the friendly one. Has a bunch of disguises. Okay. And these are two of his disguises. But if it's two, the three is the three. Anything divided by itself is 
one. They're not oh, canceling out. Oh, okay. Look Anything that. divided by itself is one. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. How we feel? Betrayed. Are you betrayed? Do you yeah. feel mad? I, I betrayed you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you feel tricked? Bamboozled? Yeah, tell us. I know. I know. I know. I wanted you to just go through the process and see what happens. What math? You should be already able to do it without that. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Um, we're going to learn about Pascal's triangle. I'm actually going to give you a note card for this. So you're going to get a note card. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. We're going to apply it all in a second. It all comes together after.